In this video, I am going to be going over the Transcendent VMS for PC and how to do record and playback on it. So there's two options. You could go to Control Panel and click on Record and Playback or click Playback here on your submenu. So before you start dragging cameras over, uh, the Transcendent VMS for PC has two options. You could either do the playback by sync or a sync. And the difference between them is uh, a sync means that you can select different cameras under the same day uh, and play them at different times. And sync means that you can select different cameras but they're all going to be playing under the same time that you select. Uh, I will go through this, this example. Now there's also this option here and this I'm going to go through uh, in another video. You have a home icon and a uh, E icon. The home icon is when you have set up uh, storage recording on the PC itself this is where the data is going to be stored up and this is how you would call that data. So if you do any type of um, storage uh, backups on your DVR to your PC, this is how you would extract it and this is how you would view it. And I'm going to go through this on another video. I do not recommend you use your C drive. If you're going to be doing this, uh, I recommend that you buy an external uh, drive or a or a bay and set it up that way and I will be going through this in a in a later video. The E means that it you're going to get the backup from the device itself whether it's a DVR, MVR or an IP camera with an SD card attached to it. So I am going to uh, grab it from the device. So uh, an example. So if I grab the if I select home which is my local network I have not set up the uh, the cameras to record onto my computer and it, so if I start dragging cameras over they are not going to work it's going to say that there's no video data because I haven't set it up that way yet so now let me select device and start dragging cameras over and under my time bar they're going to start populating so now let me go ahead and uh, show you what sync means so if I select uh, in a time slot here they're gonna start playing at the same time now let me do uh, let me close down I have to close down the previews if I want to select a sync so now let me drag over again same cameras and this time I'm gonna select channel 1 to play at 6 o'clock in the morning and I'll play channel 2 uh, about that time so that's the difference between sync and async. So let me close this down. And now I'm going to show you how to do backups. I'm going to select sync. And before you start dragging cameras over, you want to make sure that you have mainstream checked. And the reason why is because if you do not select the mainstream and decide to do backups of an incident that you found, you're going to be downloading the substream and you don't want to do do that. So let me grab uh, two cameras and let's say something happened around this time. And uh, just to note, on the timeline bar, um, if you need to get uh, more detailed, uh, more into the minute uh, information, there's this uh, plus sign right here and this, what it does, it expands my hours down to minutes. Uh, the minus sign will bring it back, shorten it down to hours, and this defaults it back to 24-hour scheme uh, as a quick, quick. Uh, but uh, so that's how you would do the uh, magnifying the the expand the timeline bar just in case you want to get minutes. So to do a backup, let me start right here, and we're gonna click on the scissors with on the left, and that's your start backup time. Then I'm going to move over a little bit and select the right one and that's my backup end time. So the space in between, that's what's going to copy. So now I click on downloads and let me cancel this really quick so I could show you what I did. 
So what I did is I created a, on my desktop, I created a folder called backup. And the reason why I did that is just to make it easier on me to see where my file is going. So again, let me click on this. And uh, on the Transcendent VMS, you have two options. You have AVI or .dat. And I will be going over those in a second. So first, let me select AVI. Let me click on Browse. Go to Desktop and Backup and click OK. So now that I see that it's going into my uh, Desktop and Backup, click OK. And if I hover my mouse over here, it's going to show me the percentage and how long it's going to take to do the backup. So it's done. So now if I click here on my folder, on my backup folder in my desktop, I should see my files. And let me drag this over and here they are. So if I click on this, my Windows Media Player is playing it. And there's my main stream. So if I click on this one, I'm seeing, so I'm seeing the videos. So just a note, if you decide to do AVI, I did some old backups, and on AVI, the limitation is 680 megabytes. So, um, and as you can see, it split up my uh, my the same channel multiple times because after 680 megabytes, it's going to create a new file and a new file and a new file. So this could get really big if you're doing uh, hours. So just take a note of that. That on on. Um, on when you're doing uh, AVI, it's going to split it at every 680 megabytes and it also splits it into channels. So in this example, I only copied two cameras and it made a bunch of uh, files for me. So uh, just note that if you do, if you decide to do uh, 16 channels of backup, if it's less than 680 megabytes, expect 16 files. So AVI will split the files into different different uh, uh, depending on how many channels you decide to copy um, so that's AVI so then the next option is uh, let me select another time slot click here for my start move over hit my N and do download again and this time I'm gonna do a dot DAT and what a dot DAT is it's basically its own uh, you need a, a special player to view this file. It is encrypted, so you cannot view it with uh, Windows Media or any um, any uh, media player. And I will show you this right now. Again, you want to click on Browse and map it to the drive that to the folder that you have set. If not, it's going to go to the default path, which is the C drive and backup. So let me click Desktop and Backup. Click OK and click OK and takes a few seconds depending on the file on, on the amount of cameras and the, the amount of information so um, now I could click on the backup folder and here's my file so if I try to open it up I cannot play this it won't it won't let me play it so the way to play this is you need this player called RPSA and this will be on our website. So let me uh, click on this file. You're going to click on Open Folder. You're going to navigate to the uh, path where you save the information. In my example, it's going to be under My Backups. And click Folder Select. So now I should get this movie reel right here. So if I click on this drop arrow, it's going to show me the cameras that are in there that I have copied. If I double click this, it's going to play all my cameras. So from here, I could uh, zoom in, bring it, bring one to full screen, and it works just like a, if I was doing it almost like a DVR. It plays them all at one time. And as you can see, let me go back, it's uh, one file only. And just to let you know that if you try to do a backup, I, I did this. The limitation for the DAT is going to be 2 gigs. So every 2 gigs, um, it's going to make create a new file. So just to uh, keep aware of that. On AVI, it's 680 megabytes. And on the .DAT, is every 2 gigs. 
but uh, that's how you would do uh, backups and that's how you would do search when you're doing uh, on the transcendent VMS for PC and again don't forget that you want to check mainstream when you're doing the cameras if not you're going to be downloading the substream thank you